Well, here's my keg. I've got me a keg set up. She's pretty primitive at the moment, but uh, nevertheless, it's all right. She's filling up really nicely. And we're going to take that down to there. Take that down to there. That'll be 18 and a half litres. And I've sanitised it all. I've replaced the uh, O-rings. Uh, these little O-rings here. I've replaced the lid O-ring. I've replaced the um, pull pull ring valve or ring pull valve or whatever you call it and yeah so I have my CO2 bottle there and there's my line in and my regulator which has still got the plastic on it because it's brand spanking new and there's my line in I'll spray that with a bit of star sand and there's my line out I'll be back in a minute utilizing the uh, the method where you which I seen on gash slugs site which is you have the inlet valve at the bottom and you have your carbonation set to oh, more like can't really see that but it's 30 anyway and uh, just rock it back and forward it's 2 minutes 20 it's 10 pound psi 10 psi pounds per square inch sitting in the fridge lovely jubbly I'll give it two or three days before I give it a kick in the pants and uh, now I'm gonna put my next batch down be back in a minute g'day youtubers I've got uh, I've just put 19 litres of beer triple triple uh, malt lager by Coopers uh, which is basically a um, three cans of Coopers lager to make it quite malty and uh, yes that is what I did and uh, it came out 8% here we've got a uh, Hammer of Thor special gravity lager it makes 6% and its volume is 23 litres but I am I'm kegging these days so I'm gonna I'm gonna guesstimate that this will come out at around about seven and a half percent because I'm only making 19 litres now let's see what the kit consists of Consists of SARS, Halit, Halital, Halital, Hops, a bladder, a bladder, 
of pre-popped extract and beer yeast for 20 to 25 litres. Okay, so so basically, after four days, it says um, to open this packet. I don't know if you can see that terribly well. To open this packet, which has the SARS Palatal hops, and it has a little tea bag in there, and you uh, make a hot tea with it. I believe, let me just, just make sure, um, it says after four days of fermentation, open the hot pellet sachet carefully and soak the inner tea bag in a cup of boiling water for 10 minutes, then add the mixture, including tea bag to your brew, leave it in the brew during the rest of the fermentation for a stronger hop aroma, add the hops at the end of fermentation instead. After eight days, check your hair. Yeah, okay, and that's all easy breezy Japanesey. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so she's a basic recipe, but it's premium quality booze. And uh, like I say, I, I'm quite curious to do a. Uh, hydrometer reading because it'll give me some idea uh, my original gravity will give me some idea as to how high of ABV we're going to be looking at Jubbly. And this kit, I'll have you know, cost me $55. But I just, I worked a bit of overtime this week and I felt like, I felt like a tree. So why the hell not? seen this done before. It's fairly basic. And there's no sugars to add to this. It's all malt extract. It's an all malt beer. An all malt lager. So, without further ado, I left me spoon, didn't I? I'll have to go and get it. Right. Time for some Water. Now we'll give it a stir up. Supposed to make 23 litres. But old SJB is 
is only making 19 with it. And uh, pretty much we're going to pitch our yeast at uh, 4 kilos net. Okay, the colour is 8 to 10 EBC. The bitterness is 25 to 30 EBU. Start gravity should be 1051, but it'll be higher because I'm uh, doing a less amount. Uh, final alcohol, 6%. It'll be more. Um, finishing hops, SARS and Halitau. need to have that litre extra space at the bottom of the fermenter. To, um, to make up for the yeast bed that will be on the bottom. What temperature we got? No one would believe us. Right, I've got one, two, three, four, five litres to go. And that should bring our temperature down to around about, I don't know, 25, 25 and a half, 26. And that will be a Good pitching temperature. I'll just Um, 
1.051, which would make 6%. I'm going to get my calculator on my phone now. And uh, we'll, we'll see what we got. Now this is... Just what we got. Oh, it's a lovely colour. It's lovely and golden. It's kind of a brownie golden, if you will. Right, what percentage have we got? Six O. Okay, so <coughs> pardon me. Sixty minus six O, and we'll say it gets down to one point oh one two uh, divided by seven point four six equals times. Oh no, plus. Oh no, I don't add anything because, uh, well, it actually says 6.5%, so it's not a great deal different, to be fair. Oh, it's a very nice lager. Yes, I'm a stirrer. I stir all the time. <laughs> So after 
four days, in other words, you've got you've got ten days fermentation with this kit. Um, so after four days, so they're suggesting six days of uh, hot tea bag. I could always dry hop it, as you know, instead it wouldn't make a lot of difference. But um, there you have it. Cheers. Drink good beers. Over and out. Cheers and 17.